We are now living in an era of unprecedented change, where artificial intelligence and large language learning models are redefining what it means to be successful. As a DevOps engineer at Air New Zealand, I have been fortunate enough to work with these AI tools, such as ChatGPT, Bing AI, AWS Code Whisperer, and GitHub Copilot to access knowledge and expertise right at my fingertips. We have entered an era of knowledge where age and experience are no longer the determinants of success. With these free revolutionary tools, I will show you how to double your output while increasing the quality of your work. I'll give you a personal experience, a scenario in which I would work at, but these can be extended to anything that you are doing for whatever piece of work. We'll explore the ways that you can prompt engineer and you can really get the output that you need from ChatGPT. With these techniques, you will sure become a 2x engineer at work and learn possibilities of developing your craft at a truly limitless scale. So whether you're a seasoned professional or just starting out, join me throughout this journey as we explore the age of AI. So the number one skill that enables you to become a two times engineer using ChatGPT is the idea of prompt engineering. This is a subtle art of knowing the right prompts in order to extract the most value out of these large language model systems. Because we can all fall under the illusion that these respond like a human, and even though they do, they are not human. They do not understand the language or the context or the reason why we use certain words and put them together. It is purely a pattern recognition um, a predictor. So what you have to do is follow these three steps for a carefully crafted prompt. Number one, set the context. Give it background of what you are trying to achieve. Number two, give it some requirements, some substantive points on what it needs to analyze. Three, make the output very clear. Say exactly what you want in order to achieve your outcome. So as a DevOps engineer, my tech stack is Azure DevOps. I use AWS as my cloud provider. I use Terraform for infrastructure automation and Python for scripting. So let's have a trivial example of creating a Python function that pulls metrics of an Azure DevOps project from a REST API core. So let's just say that as a DevOps engineer, this is what I need to do. So I'll create this particular work item. This is where we can, for first of all, use ChatGPT. So I would say create a user story as a DevOps engineer in Azure DevOps. I need to create a Python function that retrieves the details of an ADO project, Azure DevOps, using the REST API. So at right here, it's given me exactly what I need. It's a bit too long of a user story. And in reality, I wouldn't want all of this copied into a work item. So I would say make it shorter and concise. Give me some acceptance criteria. Criteria. So right here, we are already using its functionality to simplify. Uh, existing context and provide acceptance. I like this. This is all I need. So I'm going to copy this, move on to the description. I will paste it in its right format. I will get these acceptance criteria. 
obviously I would check these, you know, a function should accept, the function should use, it should handle errors, support authentication, should be well documented. This is exactly the workflow that we're going to go through. So I will, I like what I'm seeing. I'll put these as my acceptance criteria, um, do a bit of formatting as you would. And, and now I need a title, generate a title for this user story. And let's see, done. I like it right here. I've already done my work item creation, created something, a work item, which we are now going to work. I know that this is the endpoint that I need to get what I want. So using this, I would go into my chat GPT and ask the exact structure for a good prompt. First, set the context. As a DevOps engineer, I need to create a Python program that uses the Azure DevOps REST API. These are the requirements. Needs to use this endpoint, which I copied over, takes in a basic auth, email, and pat, just needs to print out the project and name. And I simply ask it to output so I can copy and test the code. ChatGPT provides me a good code generation. And after looking at it, it has exactly all the details I need, all the input parameters, the libraries, encoding and decoding our path, the headers for the particular response and a failure if it does not succeed. Finally, asking it to only print out the name and ID all checks out. However, I know that I can refine this piece of code. Although it does look syntactically correct, I know that the exposure of a personal access token just with a string is very insecure and would not be the recommended route if you're publishing to any Git repo. I also want to update these certain parameters with my values. So this is where I would go and ask, add my org name, add the email, and secure the personal access token using the OS library, which I'm familiar with, and this name, which I have saved under my system variable. So ChatGPT provides me that updated code with exactly the values that I need, securing the uh, token via system variable. And this all checks out. Now all I would have to do is test the code in Visual Studio. Now that we're in Visual Studio, let's paste the code, see if it all works out, and run exactly what I asked for with the output, name and project ID. This is now the power of using ChatGPT as a code generation and code refinement. So we have tested and verified that this code works and that is powerful. ChatGPT now just saved us an hour of syntax searching and uh, boilerplate coding. But now let's see the power of its debugging. Let's say that we never specified to encode our personal access token and we simply just put the patch straight into the header. Let's also give ourselves a status code so we can understand what is going on. Let's run this. We receive a 401. Let's go to ChatGPT and see if I can debug it. So I'm going to a new context because I don't want it to understand the changes that have been made and simply say, analyze this code for errors, provide the code and give it a reason for failure. It returns a 401. Now the power of ChatGPT is that it will give you some suggestions. So right here, you don't have to go to Stack Overflow or do your Googling. You can simply go through the steps. See, okay, incorrect or expired. I know that's not the case. I know this is not the case. User does not have sufficient permissions. Ooh, that actually rings a bell. 
I realize I missed out the encoding process. Now, let's just say, update the code to encode the pat before the header. Now that I've provided that code, it encodes it exactly like I need. And hopefully that this part fixes the error that we introduced, showing its coding debugging capability. Now let's go back to Visual Studio, copy this piece of code in, and now, ta-da, we've now fixed our code back again when we introduce the problem, but really what I'm showing is its ability to debug. So ChatGPT has helped us define our work item. It has helped us generate a piece of code and it has now refined that code and debugged it with an introduced error. So now that we've essentially completed our work item, we need to now document. Documentation is a very tedious process that I'm sure many engineers and developers do not want to do. But using the context of its chat, we can ask it to create a documentation. Generate documentation for the code snippet above. Asking it to generate some documentation, it is provided the code snippet above, exactly what I need. It is now giving a description of what it does and provides the inputs, the outputs, the dependencies that are used, and an example usage. All perfect, the exactly what I need. Now, I would love to put this in markdown format. Copy provide this documentation in markdown format so I can copy and paste it. This is now where ChatGPT can save you hours of documentation by understanding its context, by providing you a very extensive list of what a developer engineer needs to consider, um, far more than what I would actually do if I was tasked with documentation. So let's copy this piece of code. Let us go to the wikis of Azure DevOps and let's create a new one. Paste it in, it's all looking great. And let us take this as the title and ta-da. We have now got ourselves documentation for the code that we just created. So the example that we just went through is only one of many things a engineer, a DevOps engineer, software, test analyst, whatever person you are in the tech industry would go through. But what I have shown you are certain capabilities of this holistic general language learning model that if you, with the right prompts, can generate, refine, test, and document any technical solution for any language, it can work in Python, Go, c -sharp, you name it, any cloud provider, AWS, Azure, GPC, any configuration language, Terraform, which is another example that I use at work, and also any other sort of research, documentation, formatting, scripting. So these AI tools are in a constant state of evolution with new updates and advancements being released regularly. So among these available tools, Bing AI stands out to be the powerful option for web scraping and searching content. It uses GPT-4 in the background, which is a nerfed restricted version due to Microsoft's corporate limitations, but still uh, impressive results nonetheless. 
On the other hand, ChatGPT's training data only goes up to 2021, limiting its ability to really, really search content. AWS Code Whisperer is a free code generation tool, and it's another option if you have an AWS account. However, if you're looking to truly stay ahead of the curve and gain that competitive advantage, I would highly recommend purchasing the GPT-4 plan. This latest model is far more powerful than the predecessor ChatGPT, which uses 3.5, and it's demonstrated in its ability to pass human exams and tests where it was previously impossible. So by upgrading to GPT-4, the outputs that you previously saw from normal chat GPT can be more contextual, more relevant, and way more powerful as an AI assistant. I want to bring attention to the GitHub Copilot survey, which has analyzed the impact on developer productivity and happiness. So in this particular example, you can see that 95 people got recruited, half of them used Copilot, the other did not, and it literally improved their quality and halved their time. Furthermore, it is shown that people that use Copilot have to think less, but become more creative in the fun stuff, making coding more fun and efficient because it reduces all that boilerplate technical stuff. So I would highly recommend reviewing this GitHub Copilot research, but it just statistically proves that you can double your output as an engineer if you use these AI tools. In this era of knowledge, the role of engineers in the tech industry is not just limited to the technical builders that are insanely mathematical or logical. While AI and large language learning models have revolutionized the way that we work, they cannot replicate the human experience. As a DevOps engineer at Air New Zealand, I have learned that successful products and services understand this fundamental truth that to be human is to create, to innovate, to collaborate. Our role as engineers is to be the creative orchestrators that put the technical puzzle pieces together and not create the technical puzzle pieces. AI and large language learning models will do that for us with their vast amounts of knowledge and expertise right at our fingertips. But it is our human creativity and ingenuity that will put them together in meaningful and innovative ways. The AI revolution is sweeping our tech industry at a pace that I believe rivals the personal computer and the internet. To stay competitive and relevant as an engineer, particularly a DevOps engineer in this case, it is time to upskill in ChatGPT, in Bing AI, in AWS Code Whisperer and GitHub Copilot, other code generation tools that will continue to get released. So if you are as excited as I am about the amazing possibilities that AI ChatGPT can offer, then hit that subscribe button because I will keep you updated on all the latest AI developments and show you how to make most of the cutting edge tools and systems that continue to get released.